Hello, I'm Mac King, and this is Might and Magic Duels of Champions. Or Duel of Champions. Now, it's, it's really interesting how I got my hands in onto this game, but yeah, as you can see, I just did the training mission. I'm trying to familiarize myself a little more with the game, yet, from what I've seen, it's not really new for me. Orc Invasion, the company of Wind Swords is ready to depart for Flame Shrine. Flame Flame stream with its new recruits. And so we have Vrardex Crossing. Interesting name. So we get this blue thing, we get golden experience. A dangerous fragile border. The company of Windswords has been hired by the Wolf Duchy to assist the force of Siegfried Brightblade, Field Marshal of the Holy Empire. Their payment sends them to defend the duchy's border. Let's begin. Oh my god. Is it with great joy that I begin this, di this new diary? Telling the deed of the company with this phrase. Fremshrin Wolf Duchy. We are to meet Field Marshal Brightblade right here. In the dark forbidden city known as the headquarters of saintly inquisition. Hmm. <coughs> When swords, I am Field Marshal Brightblade. You now serve the saintly empire and are under my command. The Rose has invaded the pulp prairies and are terrorizing the inhabitants of the free cities. Interesting. The Wolf Duchy wishes to aid its neighboring neighbors. He has to repel the hordes of the savage back to the mountains. Come back to me afterwards and report. The Field Marshal was right. Band of Orc looters had descended into the valley and wrecked the free city of Valdex Swasson. Our team mission, or so it seemed. An orc smasher, the orc, the orcs pillaged Valdex Crossing. Pillaging the Valdex Crossing, are disorganized. They pose no real threat as long as we hold position. Understood, soldier. Now, as you can see, I chose a necropolis deck because. Honestly, it was either Necropolis, Inferno, or Heaven. <laughs> or Haven. And I honestly, from my experience with Heroes of Might and Magic, I love the, necrop the Necropolis thing. Running. Okay, so let's see what I have here. I have Icy Weapon, Death Seal. I have Ice Wall, which enchants Roll until your next turn, middle and shooter creatures. Shadow Rook cannot attack. Good. I got a flyer and two archer. Um, not really sure I want to keep this hand. I mean, this will be good. It will take some time before I pull in the game. Ice Wall is good, and so will be Ice Weapon, but no, I don't want to keep it. <coughs> so, there I get. I get um, Lamus. It's a flyer, that's good. I get a zombie, which I'm gonna play and then I get a chance. A lesser error element. This thing and ice wall. Agony is gonna play an important part in our game. I'm gonna wait for now. He won't be able to attack me in this instance. It's interesting how in the training session he has only 10. Okay, okay. This increase, I will not be able to play this yet. And to play the Rogue Mercenary, you must pay one, I guess, card or point that is to attack Rogue Mercenary. I'm not willing to do that though. I'm just gonna wait. He will get damage off me, but. Hmm. No, I can't use Agony. Don't worry. It's not that bad as it seems. We're almost gonna get two points of damage and goblin something. Good. And now I got the blade. For the lesser air, air element, we need like f well, just one mana, just one magic. That's good. And I guess we should try and pull two man, two magic, so I can just use agony. 
I guess it's an interesting card because as you can see, enchant creature permanent. After enchant creature moves or attacks, deal two damage to it. For something like this, is this the okay? So this kind of deck is created to stop people from attacking you. Can I? No, he cannot do a retaliation move. So I'll move the wretched ghoul here. I know you could. I know you might see it a good idea to just put in front of the rogue mercenary, but it's gonna die. And my point is, that I need something to kill that rogue mercenary. Oh, Jaguar Warrior. Ah, uh, he rushed that one. I didn't want to keep it alive. And what do I have here? Preurge. Destroy all ongoing spells on target creatures. Okay. So that's not gonna happen, but. Let's put the Wretched Guru. Can he sustain a hit? Or two hits. He can sustain and even trade with these guys. I could put Ice Wall, but. Yeah, I have to use Ice Wall now. I'm gonna block one wall. Better block this one. So enter. Oh no no no. Yes, I wanna use I wanna give myself more strength so I can put this guy on the battlefield. So how does my strategy work? Well yeah, he they're not gonna kill. Look, the numbers are in my favor this time. Oh fuck. A Griffion. They move him. Well I guess that makes sense. This game seems to be unforgiving to noob, to noob, to noob, to nub, 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 to people new to this type of games. Interesting as it seems. We got two open spots now. Which are gonna be dead by this one. <coughs> uh, I have problems. And with this, he's gonna be poisoned. Next turn, we know that there's gonna be no rogue mercenary. But my style of play doesn't really seem to work that well as I thought at first, you know? Anyway, play this card. What is. Okay. Off oh, another Jaguar thing like that. So he's leaving me no room to attack. It was bound to be expected. And damn it. I'm just gonna put this flyer. He's gonna trade with him off pretty well if you ask me here. The purge well that that seal is gonna be useful next time. Increase this. Can I do a trade off with this guy? I guess I can. So we got we got a little lost nothing as it seems. Time to just okay. So my Lamos is infected. Well, your thing won't last on a turn. So in this state, I oh uh, fuck it, Jaguar Warrior again. I uh, damn it. So the trade off the really wall here. You can use purge or dead seal. I'm just gonna invoke a, this guy. You know what? Who is more likely to not take damage? To take damage, I mean. Well, hmm. I can just put it on this guy. Well, moving will kill him. One damage. This guy took two damage. Uh, I'm kind of scared, to be honest. Yes, I want to use it for what? Just I don't know. I'm have. I don't need that more strain now. I'm gonna increase my mana. I think. Uh, I don't really like how the situation is looking for me in this state. I could use one of these advanced cards. 
And they're gonna kill my big floor pretty soon. The Jaguar has no sickness invocation thing. For real. Let's see what it does. Increase the attack of the next creature deployed by one turn. No. It says if you haven't played a card this turn, draw a card. If you do, you cannot play a card this turn. Oh, no, no, that's not a good idea. So let's put someone in the back. Just for stadium measures. Put you guy put you here. And aren't there aren't any spells? What are going with destroy all ongoing spells on target enemy creatures? I guess there's only a Oh no, there's my spell on this guy. So that's one thing. Can't do retaliation damage. Good. I'm gonna kill this guy. And okay. We have an open access as I can see right now. What exactly happens if you do this? Chill target in the future. Yeah, this one. So I guess it did nothing if it has no anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, here will just increase my thing. So, I have to say by now, against this Warp Smasher, we have a pretty good chance. Oh my god, it's hard for me to play against the AI. But, I don't know. Okay, so, the trade-off isn't that, as I called, good. Ah, uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. At least he'll, he'll die, but he'll kill that off. <laughs> uh, bam. And this one, tag this one. You can always kill this one, you know? I left myself open. Take a card from your hand and put it with this. Event destroy all target friendly creatures. The game resources equal to. Oh no. Attack of the next creature deploy this turn. Um, take card from your hand and put it face down on top of your library. Destroy a target creature with a cost of... Okay. Just, just, just take a card from your hand put it on top of your... Take this and... Now I must destroy... I just want to destroy this guy. Okay. This is three, this is two, and this is two. Which one is gonna be more lethal to me? This thing. So... I have no cards left in my hand. I can increase my magic for some odd reason. And next turn, he has only one card. He can pull out a. I mean, he can pull a big play out of three cards, as it seems. But it's most likely it's highly doubtable. I. Until you. I'm on the turn, play with the top card. So I think I got him where I wanted him to be. With these, I can make sure he's not gonna last that long. Now I need to move a creature and I can't do it to protect myself, but as it seems, the trade-off is good. I lost half of my life for half of his life. It's rather bad if you ask me, but... I can't really say that much. Yeah, increase our strength. Our might. So, yeah, I don't think I did that good this match. This, you know, well, this training session. World cards. Oh, God. He's pulling out everything again to stop me. Well, a good thing we have this thing here. And honestly, this is most likely game over as all I need now is my archer to kill him. And voila! As I have to say in French, voila. I did it. Bad enough, but I did it. I had, I had 9 health remaining, highest damage, up spells, creature use. I had the least. Well, it's expected from a from a deck like the Necropolis. Fortune used just one and turn taken. So I took eleven. Well, it was interesting to play this training session. I'll be back with another training session session soon. Thank you for watching.